What's up guys, Theo here with the second episode of Mega Maker. Um, in the first episode I kind of just fucked around in the tutorial for a while. Uh, this time I do want to kind of check out other people's levels and see what they have online. Um, I've looked at a couple so far and um, my game wasn't really running very great during it so I kind of had to start it over. Um, we'll go ahead and check out, I guess... Okay, so I learned this, or I learned about this game from Ryu Car and checking out his channel. Um, so I might as well go ahead and uh, check out. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> I might as well check out his level, I guess. Um, let's click play, not back. Um, I also learned in between episodes that you are able to play with controller, and I was just dumb and didn't see it in the options before. <laughs> uh, so I went ahead and set that up so it should be a little bit more um, comfortable than playing on keyboard. So, as you can see, this is a pretty, like, straightforward level, but it is a good, like, fun, classic Mega Man level. Um, I did not jump high enough for that. <laughs> I was afraid of the spike up top, so I tried to do, like, a little shadow, or shallow jump and it didn't work. Uh, can I charge? No? Okay. So that's one of the interesting things that you do have to check for, um, when you're playing Mega Man levels like this. Um, because the charges can be different, like you, uh, saw in the tutorial level. Uh, this one does not have a charge or sliding, I believe. So, does it have sliding? Oh, it does have sliding. Okay. I did not even see that guy. They're <laughs> all over there. Okay, so, gotta be careful because I can't really jump here. Can I go left? No. Um, that's a nice shallow jump. Okay. Um, am I able to jump on those platforms again? Oh, you can't slide. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to see if, uh, I think it's in Mega Man 3, where if you hit slide, um, it does like a triple shot sort of thing. Um, so I was trying to see if there was that, but then I completely forgot that I had just learned that there was sliding. That's fine. I think I glitched out my health a little bit, <laughs> but that's fine. <laughs> um, I kind of don't want to deal with this guy once I get over there, so I am going to take this slow and try to kill him before I try this jump. Okay. So I should probably try this one farther back here, or just not jump at all. That's better. Um... taking this nice and slow I guess. Uh, I do like that this is an actual level though. Um, the first couple levels I was trying were just like complete garbage and this one actually feels like it's a real Mega Man level which is cool. Um, I think I can make it past this guy. Okay. Oh hey an actual checkpoint. Cool. Because I think I'm about to die. <laughs> I haven't gotten hit in a while, so I don't actually know, but... Yeah. Okay. So this one, it looks like I have to fall down, and then... Go around. That part's cool. I like that part. Um... Uh... At least feel a little bit better now. <laughs> Oops. I got cocky. I thought you could stand on the edge and be okay. Um, turns out you cannot. So I guess I'll never actually figure out if I had. Um, like overflowed my health there or not, but it kind of looked like I did, um, which is kind of funny. <laughs> um, at least we get to play this cool part again. 
Um, or I guess you kind of stall it out or fall down. Yeah. Uh, so overall, I'm pretty happy with the uh, levels that I've seen in Mega Maker so far. Um, this one definitely feels like the most um, original Mega Man level, I guess I would say, that I've played so far. Um, <clears throat> but uh, all of them have been pretty fun so far. Uh, that one I'm gonna blame on the fact that this game like kind of slowed down a little bit for some reason. <laughs> um, I was kind of hoping for it to uh, not do that right there. But overall, I feel like this game kind of um, showcases a lot of good um, level design stuff. Um, you can see that the graphics feel like really, really original, um, especially for a game that's like doesn't really have like a ton of assets. Um, visually it does, I guess, um, but um, it doesn't have like every Mega Man asset, I guess I should say. I should probably just try to jump over this guy instead of trying to kill him, but it's a matter of pride now. <laughs> okay, um, and I'm going to assume that this is... Oh, I assume this was one of those pits where you had to like fall left and right all the time. Um, gonna assume that you do not go left. <laughs> okay. Typical Mega Man fashion, he gives us the boss doors. Um, I almost didn't see that there were guys in here. <laughs> and here we go for the boss fight. Um, so, kind of the way um, I sort of but not really showcased um in my boss fight you can have enemies like in um the boss room with you which is really cool um it kind of adds a little bit of um added complexity i guess i should say Please. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, he is jumping a lot more now. <laughs> So that was a really good tense level. Um, you can see just even adding in like a couple of spikes and one of those enemies turns like what is otherwise a fairly simple boss fight and actually a pretty like tense one. Uh, Mega Man dips out before that. Uh, definitely gonna give that one a thumbs up. Um, again, uh, I don't know if I actually uploaded Super Rear World at this point yet, but um, I'm also playing a Super Mario World ROM hack that's dedicated to this guy. Um, really cool YouTuber, really interesting, um, really good at Mario and stuff, uh, so definitely recommend checking him out. Um, but let's go ahead and check out a couple of other levels, I guess. Um, let's check out how to use NATO, because I actually don't know how to use this one, so maybe you can help me out. And I haven't actually figured out if the uh, enemies that load up in the start are the guys that you actually fight at the end or not. Um, so, gonna assume that we have NATO here. Ooh, that's a cool looking sprite. Okay, so does this mean that you can jump in game? Okay, so <laughs> only have NATO. <laughs> we are already stuck. Okay, um, so is there...
Is it something where like I have to jump and then use it at the right time? Because it kind of feels like that's what it is. Um. Okay, there we go. Yep. Okay. So it's one of those jumps and then immediately I jump back over the side. <clears throat> Okay. So, quick jump to gain a little bit more height. I'm almost... Damn, that's like immediate. Okay. Um, so, it looks like it's like an immediate one to slow yourself down a little bit here. And then you have to go back and forth a little bit to not slide off. And then another one, but with a hole. That again kind of lowers it a little bit. Okay. Alright, so now you have to learn how to use it with damage boosting. Okay, so it does look like you just play Crash Man here, which is kind of cool. Um, are you like immune during? No, you're not. Okay, I just got really lucky the first couple hits then. Uh, okay. So, NATO's pretty cool. Um, it seems like you get just a little bit of extra height with it. Um, you can use it to slow your fall a little bit. Um, and it does damage to bosses, which is cool. Uh, thanks for showing that off, bro. <laughs> um, we'll go ahead and go back. Um, where are we looking on time? Oh, only 12 minutes. Okay. <laughs> Um, this sounds like an actual level. I forget the robot master's name for this one. Um, okay. Are, are there pit enemies? I forget. I didn't actually look at that in depth in the editor, so... Good music choice though. Okay, so we have this. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess I should have probably tried that not directly on the edge, um, but that's okay. Um, so what other weapons do we have? We have the slide, we have the skull, which is just the shield, and then we have another shield. Okay. I forget to check what weapons we have and like our sliding. We can charge and slide. Okay. So this one is jump, use that. That one's a little more obvious. <laughs> Part of me like really wants to jump down that hole, but I don't want to, so. <laughs> um, I feel like I could have jumped down that hole. I may actually play this level again to see if he can. Ooh. Screen scrolling. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that part over to the left glitched out a little bit, but that's okay. Um, over I did not know that you could actually like have multi-screen high things in addition to screen scrolling. That's pretty cool. Um, okay. So just fighting this guy in enclosed space. I don't know if I would have uh, given us his weakness like that. <laughs> um, but that was still a fun level. Um, I like how people are kind of using the exploration aspect of Mega Man and stuff too, because that one is pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead and instead check out some of the newer levels in here. Zawarudo um, Tokyo Tomari. Okay, that's <laughs> created by Monster Elf. I was hoping it was at least created by. Uh, okay. 
we'll check it out. Hopefully I don't regret it, but... <laughs> okay, so I have this. Freeze. And that's all I have. Oh, okay, I'm dead. <laughs> it is one of those levels. supposed to go down there and I guess down here but I wasn't the most clear why'd this level suddenly get very easy <laughs> I feel like you didn't really actually have to use uh, this weapon for very much of it why is he all the way up there oh Oh, I don't have... Oh my goodness, this is a lot harder than uh, reuses. Because <laughs> I don't think I have the weapon energy for this now, because I didn't know I was supposed to just keep freezing him and shooting him. Oh, I definitely don't know. Okay. Um, so this just looks like it's a mash-a-thon, but I'm alright with that. Um, I don't have a regular weapon to shoot him with, so I just have to let him kill me. Um, do I get weapon energy back? Uh, what, what do? I can't beat your level now. <laughs> okay, so we'll just go ahead and restart the stage, because I think you just need to do it in one swoop. Um, It may just mean that I have to go back and um, get that weapon tank right there, which I'm fine with. Um, I just kind of missed it last time. <laughs> I don't understand these screens though, if I'm being honest. Um, I feel like there should have been more here. <laughs> um, Especially on this one, there, there's literally nothing. <laughs> That's okay. Probably cut that one a little closer than I should have. Okay, so now that I know that this is just mash a thon, I think I can do this a little bit better. Um, I'll wait for him to jump first. <laughs> um, interesting level. I feel like there probably should have been a little bit more enemy placement in it, um, but I'll still give it a thumbs up. I had fun with it, um, even if it was a mashathon at the end. Um, this one also kind of sounds like a regular level, so let's check it out. Um, I'll probably grab like one or two more levels in this one. Um, how are we looking on time? 20 minutes? Okay. I kind of want to keep these episodes between 20 to 30 minutes, um, so I'll probably grab one, maybe two more levels. Uh, so we have flame and nothing else. Okay. Whoops. 
Uh oh. <laughs> and that was an oversight by the level maker by accidentally making that extra tile. Um, hopefully I showed that off to that guy. <laughs> um, this is still a fun level though because you can tell that it has a theme and it runs with it and it has good music and that's all you need in the level. I'll just not kill that guy I guess. Two, three. No! Okay. So I guess I should probably just use the fire shot there or whatever. Um, make things a little bit easier on myself. Can I use fire shot here? No. Well, yes, I can actually, but. enemies are at awkward heights. <laughs> Which I'm sure is intentional, but still. actually really like this section um, so I'm gonna pause here to talk a little bit about level design really quick because this is a good opportunity for it um, you don't really see this too often um, in like Mario Maker stuff or Mega Man Maker stuff at least from what I've seen uh, but the player actually gave you um, a little bit or, or the game level designer I guess actually gave you a chance to recover from there which is really nice um, it allows you to kind of get a feel for the section and the platform that you're about to play without um, being required to do it perfectly on your first shot and now it escalates into having spikes so obviously uh, you die if you go down there now um, but just having that first section of an opportunity to kind of catch yourself and learn from your mistakes is pretty cool um, I assume oh I probably should have <laughs> just gone down the ladder I want the sea tank okay I thought that was gonna go faster <laughs> Oh, that was a little bit of an awkward forced screen transition. Um, I don't know if those are super common, but it feels like I'm like underwater now with how high I'm jumping. Okay, so I assume I'm supposed to, yeah. I will just take my time going down the ladder. I still have yet to figure out what extra lives are for in this game. <laughs> Judging by the sound, absolutely nothing. <laughs> okay. I don't remember your attack pattern. Okay, so you just throw that out. Yeah, shield until then. Okay. You're a little annoying. <laughs> had him into a pattern that I could have worked with there but oh man that's a kind of far checkpoint <laughs> I thought he gave me one closer to the boss fight as normally is for Mega Man tradition but that's okay um, overall I actually pretty 
like this level. Um, I forgot I had an E-Tank that I probably should have used too. Um, that's okay. Um, <laughs> did I not go down that ladder last time? Okay. Uh, I can see Kaizo ladders becoming a thing where you're just like, nope, wrong door. You did. I would never do it in a level because that's horrible level design, but I can see other people not having the same restraint. I don't think this one was supposed Oh, I just scrolled too early and then died. Okay. I keep forgetting I can charge shots too. So maybe I'll try to charge shots and uh, hit this guy more with focused attacks. He's far range though. try to beat him without the uh, E-Tank if I could. Alright, so that was a pretty cool level. Um, I feel like I kind of glitched out that one time I died just on the ladder. Um, I think the screen transition just kind of happened to be at a weird place. Uh, but overall I like that level enough to give it an upvote. Um, definitely spent time on it, so I want to reward that. Um, I'm kind of feeling this, so we'll just go ahead and get one more level really quick. Um, Um, okay. So overall, I think this game um, has a pretty strong community actually at the gate. Um, I played a couple of the top levels um, in another failed recording and I wasn't really super thrilled with them, but all of these levels have actually been really fun, um, really solid, like actually designed levels. Um, I don't know why this level is running at like 4 frames per second, but it makes it really good to be fast. Seriously, why is this level like suddenly running at like an ass frame rate? Is it because it's like one big screen? No, because the screen transition worked fine. I only have one weapon. <laughs> so I don't know why this level is suddenly running, like that's not just my video like corrupting, this is just how slow the game is suddenly running. Um, maybe it's because there's a big section of these blocks right here and the game just doesn't handle that very well. Well I really had no way of knowing that was coming. <laughs> Cause like I can tell it's definitely the level because the rest of the game is like running fine. Like I can pause and unpause super fast. Um, so I don't know why this level is just running super slow, but maybe that's by design. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. Those two. That one, another one off screen, okay. Oh, this one goes on, yeah. So this must be why the level's lacking so much, the game must not really like these blocks yet. I tried to slide. Um, turns out there was no slide, so instead I just jumped. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. Mega Man at like five frames per second is hard. 
Uh, save myself. Okay. And then this one's just like a path. I don't really understand why the other one was um, the hard one where you had to like time the jump and stuff. On the bright side, I can kill that guy super fast now. But like you can tell, okay. I keep forgetting that I don't have slide. <laughs> I want my slow motion slide, damn it. Like, uh, this is interesting, because you can definitely tell this is, like, the level lagging the game out a ton, because, um, like, I get health refills super fast. <laughs> um, I can pause the game super fast, even though there's no r real reason for me to. slide. <laughs> Just mash. <laughs> and then this one allows me to fall and fall. I don't really need... Nope. Don't slide. I'll just get hit here so I can get more health, I guess. Can I go left? No. I really want to slide in this level, so it's kind of annoying that I can't. Um... Especially with how slow it is. <laughs> Alright, so an actual Mega Man fall section where you have to move left and right. I don't see the need for that life, so I'm not going to go for it. Oh. Okay. Okay. So as if this level wasn't moving slowly enough, I now have to jump everywhere to get anywhere. I will still probably give this one a like just because I can tell that there was effort that was put into it and it's like a decent level in platforming <laughs> but the game is not liking it very much. <laughs> it has let me be nice and like frame perfect with that mashing though. Another spot where a slide would have been nice. <laughs> See, like, if the level would have been like this, you wouldn't even really notice too much that this level was lagging like crazy. That was a weird screen transition, but I feel like people are still kind of getting used to the screen transitions. It's an interesting boss fight. Sure makes Metal Man a lot easier when you can just sit here and jump in between all of the shots. Yeah, I only have uh, Buster. Okay. Now I shall stand over here and throw things at you in slow motion. That was a weird level. Um, like, it was fun, I guess, but it was also just like Mega Man in slow motion. Um, but that was a couple of um, at least the popular levels that are out right now. I uh, definitely want to keep going with this because this is a pretty fun uh, series, I guess. Um, since I'm the first play, I'll go ahead and give it a thumb up. Uh, but yeah, I, this has been my Mart, or I almost said Mario Maker. This has been my Mega Man Maker uh, showcase, I guess. Uh, thank you guys for coming by. Have a good day, and I will see you next time. Bye.